Hello viewers, welcome to my channel Biology Notes. Today I will discuss about the accessory structures of the eye. The eye is a complex sensory organ that provides the sense of sight. The visual system includes the eyes, the accessory structures and the sensory neurons. As our today's discussion is on accessory structures of the eye, so here I have shown the different accessory structures of the eye. They are eyebrows, eyelids, conjunctiva, lacrimal apparatus, extrinsic eye muscles. So now I will discuss all these accessory structures with figure and functions. These are eyebrows. They are curved lines of hair over orbit. The main functions of eyebrows are prevent moisture, mostly sweat and rain from flowing into the eyes. Reduce the amount of light that gets into our eyes. Help to keep dirt away from eyes. Now, these are eyelids. Eyelids are movable folds and cover the anterior surface of the eye when closed. These are upper eyelids and these are lower eyelids. These two eyelids meet at two points. Here, they meet at the medial angle of the eye and here they meet at the point lateral angle of the eye. Now if you see your eyes carefully in front of mirror then you will see medial angle contains a small reddish pink mound of tissue known as caruncle. This caruncle contains sebaceous and sweat glands. If we see the structural details of the eyelids, then we will see that the eyelids consist of five layers of tissue. From the outer to the inner surface, they are a thin layer of skin on the external surface, a thin layer of loose connective tissue, a layer of skeletal muscle consisting of the orbicularis oculi and levator palpebri superioris muscles, a crescent separate layer of dense connective tissue called the tarsal plate and the conjunctiva. Now, at the free edges of the eyelids, there are two or three rows of hairs known as eyelashes. The eyelashes are short, stiff and carp hairs. The eyelids contain few major types of glands like the tarsal glands or mebomian glands, sebaceous glands of eyelashes or glands of gyes, apocrine glands of eyelashes or glands of mole, accessory lacrimal glands like glands of wolfring, glands of Krause, etc. The eyelids with their associated lashes protect the eyes from foreign objects. The eyelids also help regulate the amount of light entering the eyes. Now, this is conjunctiva. It is a thin transparent mucous membrane. It covers the inner surface of the eyelids known as palpebral conjunctiva. It also covers the anterior white surface of the eye known as bulbar conjunctiva. The conjunctiva reduces friction as the eyelids move over the surface of the eye. 
the conjunctiva acts as a barrier to the entry of microorganisms now in this diagram i have tried to show the structure of lacrimal apparatus in each side the apparatus consists of a lacrimal gland lacrimal canaliculi and a naso lacrimal duct this is lacrimal gland it is located beneath the conjunctiva of the upper lateral side of the orbit the lacrimal gland consists of several separate lobules of tubulo acinar serous glands the lacrimal gland produces tears which leave the gland through several lacrimal ducts the tears then pass over the anterior surface of the eyeball most of the fluid produced by the lacrimal glands evaporates from the surface of the eye but excess tears are collected in the medial corner of the eye by small tubes they are known as the lacrimal canaliculi so this is superior canaliculus and this is inferior canaliculus these two canaliculi join to form the common canaliculus the common canaliculus then opens into the lacrimal sac the sac is continuous with the naso lacrimal duct the naso lacrimal duct opens into the inferior meatus of the nasal cavity beneath the inferior nasal concha now there are few extrinsic eye muscles attached to the outside of the eyeball there are four rectus muscles superior rectus medial rectus lateral rectus and inferior rectus muscles and there are two oblique muscles inferior oblique and superior oblique by coordinated contraction of these muscles allows vertical lateral and rotational movement of the eye so this is all about the accessory structures of the eye if you have any query please comment if you like the video then share subscribe the channel and press the bell icon to get notifications of new videos stay with us keep watching thank you